Hey there, everybody. Uh, in today's uh, little video lesson, we're gonna learn to play something a little bit more fun than normal as far as ornamentations go. Uh, it's called the GDE movement. Um, and it's exactly as the name implies. It's just a high G gray stone, a D gray stone, and an E gray stone. Um, played a ton in jigs, okay? So if you're a, a jig player, um, you probably already know how to play this already, but if you don't, um, I'll show you today. All right, so it's just, uh, like I said, a high G, a D, and an E gray zone. All right, it sounds like this. All right, it's just da 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 um, And that's one way you can do it, all right? You can do it straight like that. All right, or you can do it, um, you sort of accent the first, uh, the first note, okay? Or kind of dot it and cut the next two. All right, it depends how you're playing your jig, right? Because some people will play a jig, uh, all right, like that, and some people will play it. All right, it just depends um, how you decide to play the jig. Um, more um, straight, or more dot cut, okay? And those can be played on a low G, an A, a B, or a C, okay? Um, let's get a close up uh, of the channer um, so I can sort of show you exactly um, what I'm doing so there's no confusion at all, okay? Here's the G, D, E movement, really slow. Okay, here it is at a medium speed. And then here it is up to speed. Okay, here's a little exercise uh, that I like to do um, when practicing my GDEs or when teaching people to um, play their GDE movements. And uh, it's just to go up and down um, I usually start on a low G, A, B, C, and then back down, B, low A, G, and back down and back up and back down and back up, all right? So you don't need to play it with me right now, but this is just sort of a nice little um, move, uh, thing to practice, all right? All right, and you just sort of keep going up and down, up and down. And again, you can play it nice and slow if you have to. All right, if you're if you're at that point where you're just sort of learning how to do them and you need to keep your doublings open, by all means do that. Another thing that's kind of fun is you do the same thing, but you do it um, more more dot and cut, right? You accent the first one like this. All right, and again, go down and back up. And you can do it as slow as you want or as, as fast as you want. Once you start playing um, more jigs and things, um, you know, it gets pretty quick. All right, da 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 All right, um, so those GDEs, that's basically what they're using the most for sure is, uh, is jigs, okay? Um, you see them, you know, here and there in different tunes, but for the most part, it's jigs, all right? Um, so give the exercises uh, a try and, uh, and that should really improve your GDE playing. 